The placing of the rocks on the slopes of the dam requires particular skill. In the course of time, the local excavator operators have got so familiar with their vehicle that they can move its arm almost as deftly as if it were their own. Now the dam has almost reached its final height. Work has also been going on around the clock on the spillway running along the side of the valley at one end of the dam. Spillways are constructed in order to channel off peak flows when reservoirs are full and to convey flood discharge to the bottom stream in a controlled manner without danger to the barrage. Normally, the three steel weir gates of the spillway are closed, but if the water level rises beyond a predetermined height, they're opened and the flood discharge is diverted down the chute and over the flip bucket, the maximum flow being 8,000 cubic meters per second. For the given head of 84 meters, the spillway must be approximately 300 meters in length. When the spillway is in operation, the flood water pounding down the chutes and flip bucket reaches flow velocities of up to 120 kilometers per hour, making it absolutely essential that the highest quality concrete be used for all the surfaces with which the water comes into contact. For this reason, a special procedure was used for the invert surfaces which were constructed without formwork. After the placement, spreading and compaction of the concrete, the fresh concrete was dehydrated with the help of vacuum matting. The water was then pumped off and carried away in pipes. The final task consisted in smoothing the surface of the concrete with mechanical floats. The piers are the load-bearing elements of the weir. They are 41 meters in height from top to foundation. The water pressure on the weir gates, amounting to a maximum of 1,900 tons per opening, is transmitted to the weir piers via pre-pressed anchors. Dividag strand tendons, which had been pre-stressed with the help of big pre-stressing jacks, were used for this purpose. The weir is opened and closed by means of three steel segment gates, each with an internal cross-section of approximately 15 by 17 meters. The design flow of 8,000 cubic meters per second is approximately three times the discharge of the Rhine River at Cologne under normal conditions. This figure is derived from a mathematically calculated statistical projection. From the point of view of statistical probability, a peak flow 